Hi guys, so you've got your PS5 Pro and you want to extend the memory with the SSD drive. As you can see on this one here, we've already put the disk drive on. Now we're going to do the SSD card. So I always work on a slightly soft, spongy surface. This is a mattress, so if I'm pushing down, I can't damage the console by excessive force. So first things you need to do, turn the console upside down and you're looking at this panel on this side here that you need to lift up. So don't be afraid at the front, just pop it off and you will see over towards the back, I'm just gonna lift this over so you can see it slightly better. This is where the SSD is going to fit. So you're gonna to need to first off, remove this screw and remove this cover. Now, good point I should have mentioned before you start touching anything on the inside, make sure you touch something metallic so you remove any static that you've got. That then exposes where the card's going to go. You see there's a spacer clip on this side here. You're also going to want to remove that. Because depending on the size of your card, that's what's going to keep it solid and in place. And lift it up and you'll see on the end here, there's a little spacer, that little metal cylinder that's on the end of the screw. Make sure you put those somewhere secure and safe because you are going to need those later. When you've got your SSD card, whichever one that you want, make sure you get one that's got a, a heat sink, either separate or already built in. And then you want to angle it towards the front. Ooh, make sure I've got that in there. Push. You'll feel a little click. And then you just plonk that down flat. Now, I'm not going to be too sure how I'm going to be able to show you this, but if you look over the top, you'll see there's a little cut out on your SSD card that will fit over one of the slots and that's just where you're going to put your spacer and the screw back in again. You'll know if it's not lined up because the spacer and the screw won't line up securely. There'll be, there'll be a gap. So there we are. That's that back in place. Put your cover back on and then screw it all back into place again. ta -da! Cover that you removed earlier. I usually work, you see that there's angled grooves. Make sure you can see it on the camera. You see the like hooks. Make sure that they line up at the back. You'll see the, the holes that they line up into. Angle it back towards you. Pop them all back into place. And there you go. That's the SSD drive now fitted in your fully loaded up PS5 Pro.